uh, the Chiefs of Paul, you know, Alex Dill McCartney versus Martin Pelagi is a great fight. It's, it's going to be edgy and seedy fight. I don't think either of them will give any quarter. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've described Alex as boxing's best kept secret, and I believe on Saturday night he's going to he's gonna arrive and um, he's going to put all the super featherweights and featherweights on notice. And Alex, uh, you've got a really interesting story. I know that uh, obviously you've, you've taken yourself off to Mexico to, to challenge yourselves, to really take yourself out of your comfort zone. You've done the same in Canada uh, as well and now you're back. Uh, again, you, you know, you've only got the one clip on your record, which was before you took yourself away to, to Mexico. What, what, what can we expect from those that haven't seen you yet? Now that you're back in the UK, um, an explosive style, uh, Mexican style, pressure, um, pick my punches. Yeah, you're going to see a great performance. And just give us a bit of insight into what it's like as a young man taking yourself off to go and train in the gyms of Mexico City, train with the likes of you know, Marquez and, and get in those gyms and best yeah. numbers in, well, in there as well. I believe um, if you want to be anything in life, you've got to sacrifice. Those sacrifices made me a much better fighter and a much better individual. So, yeah. And what opportunities are you looking for now that you're back in the UK? Um, big ones. I'm with, you know, I'm managed by McKinsey now, and he's got a great platform in Channel Five, and I'm looking to make huge things. And as Mick points out there as well, because you work with him closely, a, a, a really great kept secret, but now, after the experiences that he's gone through in Mexico and Canada, everyone's expecting great things, we're really excited. Yeah, I mean, um, with Alex, he was, um, like, he come down, he used to be sparring partners with Ben Jones with us, um, and actually he's trained for Martin when Ben Jones beat Martin, uh, at a Troxy, which was a fantastic fight. And um, from then on, he's just stayed with us, and like I said, to, I have said to Mick from day one, he will be, it'll be something special, he'll be one to look out for. So we're looking forward to this fight and uh, let's get it on.